So, in this video, we're going to look at how to solve cosecant of an angle x, where is that equal to negative 7.2. Alright, <clears throat> let me go ahead and just rewrite it. Now, because my calculator has the buttons sine, cosine, and tangent, I really don't want to leave this as cosecant. Instead, I want to change it to its reciprocal form, 1 over sine x. Now, my sine function is in the denominator, so I want to bring it to the numerator, so I'm going to take the reciprocal of both sides, right? So finally, I've got this as something that's a lot easier to deal with. Okay, and let me go ahead and approximate this here. All right, so now, <clears throat> what I'm really look asking is for what angle x, and remember I'm only allowed to look for it from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2, anywhere in there. For what angle x is the ratio y over r, but and that's because it's the that's the definition of the sine function. But if I want to use the unit circle, that's fine. So basically, the y-coordinate um, equal to negative 0.13889, right? <clears throat> so how I do that in the calculator is, I sure go through a lot of paper here. So what I do is I take the inverse sine of both sides, and that will, my, my calculator will find that angle for me. Okay. <clears throat> now, you know, most I mean, I write this for you. Most people would actually skip this and just go right to x equals the inverse sine of negative 0.13889, and then the calculator... <clears throat> will give that answer as negative 0 0.13934 understood radians, right? <clears throat> now, so visually what that is, is I have a unit circle, right, and a coordinate axis, and essentially <clears throat> the question I asked was for what angle rotation is the y coordinate equal to a length of, oh, I got a, some help from my cat. <laughs> negative 0 0.13889 and <clears throat> that's where the y coordinate is that length and what the calculator returned to me is that the angle for that whoop, is the angle x that I'm looking for here is this right here right? and that x was and that's an angle uh, negative 0 0.13934 radians. All right, so that's what that <clears throat> question meant, and that's what this physically represents. But there is something that the calculator can't find, because remember, it is restricted, uh, theoretically, to only find solutions between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2, right? Because we had to restrict the domain of the sine function and so that's what happens. So now we only have to look there. And so where else is it that you could have a y coordinate equal to negative 0.13889? Well, that would be this here, this length here, would be over here. So here's another place where y is also equal to negative 0 0.13889. <clears throat> and I'm looking for that angle. And that angle would be here, and the idea is that these two triangles are exactly the same, they're just reflections of each other. So if I just mirrored this over here over the y-axis, I'd be there. But <clears throat> to label this, I need to find the name of this angle. Now I know that this reference angle is also x, right? So the reference angle would be positive and acute. So this, the reference angle here is positive 0.13889, and this is positive 0.13889. But I need to name it, and when I, need, when I go to name it, <clears throat> let's get a different color. I start at zero and rotate all the way here until I hit the terminal side there. So what is that? How do I call that? Well, that's basically pi plus that reference angle. 
So if I use the picture to tell me that, I'd say it's pi, right, from 0 to pi, plus that angle, so plus 0 0.13889, right? So what I'm basically doing is saying pi plus the reference angle, right? And I'll get, <clears throat> sorry, 3.28093 radians. Now, if instead you want to do it by formula, and I said it was pi minus theta, whatever theta was that the calculator gave you, that would be pi minus, since it was a negative that the calculator gave you, 0 0.13889. Oh, I'm sorry, that's not... Aha, I need to apologize here. The actual angle is 0.13934. I'm sorry. The y coordinate, they're so close together, and we're actually, I'm actually going to touch on that. Why is that true? Oh, this gets messy, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, boy. All right, so let me. <clears throat> I'm sorry, the reference angle is negative. I'm sorry, the reference angle will be positive uh, 1.13934, right? And let me just make sure that's correct here on the calculator so I'm not giving you the wrong information. So pi plus 0.13934 is 3.28093. That's correct. So now that is finally correct. That's the angle. Now notice these are very similar, aren't they? Like I said, I'm going to explain why that is true at the end of the video. So you can find... The second angle here, by doing pi plus the reference angle for this, or if you do it by formula, you'd say it's pi minus whatever the calculator gave you, which is negative 0.13934, which of course is going to give you 3.28093. Either way, you're going to get the same result. I tend to not memorize, so I just look at the picture. But if you want a formula, there it is. So what that means is I now have two generators, and let's see if I, I actually have that worked out, I do. So now what we have are the two generators, we have the negative 0.13934 plus 2k pi, or most books, although this is absolutely correct and there's nothing wrong with this, most books don't really like negative angles, I don't know why, but if you let k be 1 here, where k is an integer, then you'll get 6.14385. And either one, they're just coterminal angles, and then plus 2k pi will capture all those solutions. And then, of course, you've got your other 3.28093 plus 2k pi. And let me show you a picture of that. So what that means is here's your <clears throat> cosecant function, right? The what looks to me like out alternating u's. And here's your first one that we found the calculator gave us, gave us negative 0.13934. Notice it's on the right-hand side of the descending U. So the next one, when we put in K equal 1 and got 6.14385, that's also here. So these are 2 pi apart, right, from here. So on the right-hand side, you're going to get, that's what this, these generators, well, it's the same generator depending on whether you use K equal 0 or K equal 1. But that's what that's finding. And then these, this second one, 3.28093 plus 2K pi, is finding right here on the left hand side. All right, so these are two pi apart. So there's our solution. We did solve what we started to solve. We set out to solve cosecant x equals negative 7.2. Now I want to address something different where you saw I even made a mistake. It's so easy to confuse these, right? In this case, what's the y coordinate versus what's the radian measure of the angle such that when I take the sign of that angle, I get that y coordinate. So why are they so close? There's a reason. If you look at the graph of sine x, right? So here it is. And you look at the graph of y equals x, just the line y equals x with a slope of 1 and an intercept of 0. You can see that there's they overlap so that there's a portion where there's really almost no difference between the height, right, the, the y value. But now there's, as you start coming into this region, there's a bigger gap between the height of the sine function and the height of the line y equals x. So that difference starts to become, that starts, they start to pull apart and they're very different. 
But what happens is as you progress in mathematics courses, you'll see that they sometimes use the line y equals x to approximate the curve y equals sine x, but only in a certain region. What region? Well, basically from here to here. And if you look at the graph, this is negative one, this is positive one. This is at about 0.5, and this is at about, sorry, negative 0.5, and here at positive 0.5. So as long as you're about in this region, you can use line y equals x to approximate sine x, and you saw how easy it is to make the mistake I did. But just be careful, and this is hopefully helping you understand why they use the line to approximate the graph, just in that interval here. Thanks so much for listening.